Hello children, myself Shubhavi Patel Kulkarni. I am going to continue chapter 3, pair of linear equations into variables. So in 3.6 exercise, second main heading is formulate the following problems as a pair of equations and hence find their solutions. So heading only the give. Formulate the following problems as a pair of linear equations. So they give one problem that is statement problem. I to convert formulate the following problems as a pair of equations. So I have to write it in the form of pair of linear equations into variables. Then and hence find their solutions. Then afterwards you have to find out the solutions. So what is the meaning of this? They give statement problems to you. You have to read the statement. Then you have to understand. Then you have to convert that statement in the form of uh, linear equations into variables. Then you can solve by elimination method and you can find out the variables value. So I am going to read question now. So what is the question here? First question. Statement problem. First statement problem is you have to understand the statement. Ritu can row downstream 20 km into hours. Ritu. She can row downstream 20 km into hours. She can go 20 km downstream into hours. And upstream 4 km into hours. See children. 20 km she can go very speed. She can cover within 2 hours 20 km. But while going upstream only she will cover 4 km into hours. And upstream 4 km in 2 hours. Find the speed of rowing in still water. So what is the speed of her in still water? I have to find out. And the speed of the current and the speed of the current also I have to find out. So we don't know both. So what we don't know uh, we have to find out. That, not, that only I can take it as let the speed of Ritu in still water be x km per hour. I don't know what the speed of uh, her in still water. So let that be x km per hour. I'll take it. I'll find out the value of x. That is the value of the uh, speed of still water. It becomes then. So then next, uh, they told for us to find out the speed of the current also. So and the speed of the stream be y km per hour. So, and the speed of the stream be y km per hour, that, that also they told for us to find out. So, we will keep that as speed of the uh, stream be y km per hour. So, in downstream speed of Ritu, it will become then, see when she, we are going downstream, our speed increases. So, what we have to do, when we are going downstream, we have to add both. Speed of still water and the speed of the stream both I have to add because speed it increases it will add the stream speed also and it increases. So in downstream speed of Ritu it will be uh, x plus y kilometer per hour. In upstream speed of Ritu it will be x minus y. So because the stream water speed decreases when we are going upstream. So we have to subtract in speed of still water. We have to subtract the uh, speed of first uh, stream. So then it becomes in upstream, uh, upstream speed of Ritu it will be uh, x minus y kilometer per hour children. Okay. This much you write it in your notebook children. Then I am going to continue. Uh, in physics, we know already what is the formula to find out speed. Speed is equal to distance travelled divided by time taken. So, the same formula I am going to use here. Speed is equal to distance travelled divided by time taken. In downstream, speed of uh, Ritu will be x plus y kilometer already. We know. Speed of uh, Ritu in downstream, x plus y kilometer. Speed I have written the value. How much distance she covered? 20 km in 2 hours. So, distance travelled by Ritu is 20 km and in time 2 hours. So, I have substituted the value. Speed of Ritu x plus y kilometer. 
is equal to distance travel 20 kilometer time taken to cover 20 kilometer is 2 hours see if i simplify 2 ones are 2 tens i will get cancel you can simplify 2 ones are 2 tens i will get cancel so then x plus y is equal to 10 if i take it this side it is in the form of uh, linear equations in two variables in a standard form but i want it in this form so i have uh, kept it uh, like this way only x plus y is equal to 10 you call this as equation number one and in the same way uh, the speed of uh, ritu in upstream in upstream speed of ritu is x minus y kilometer x minus y kilometer and she covered four kilometer when she is going upstream only she covered four kilometer in two hours so distance traveled by ritu is four kilometer and the time taken to cover four kilometer is two hours so if i simplify this two ones are two twos are it will get cancelled then you will get x minus y is equal to two then you call this as equation number two by one and two so by using the equation one and two that is x plus y is equal to 10 x minus y is equal to 2 so when you observe these two linear equations in two variables we come to know one is plus y one is minus y by adding by adding i can eliminate the variable y so you add both x and x x plus x is 2x is equal to 10 plus 2 is 12 then x is equal to 12 by 2 2 ones are 2 six are x is equal to 6 km per hour I got. So, x is equal to 6 km per hour means what I kept uh, starting. Let the speed of uh, still water, speed of Ritu in still water be x km per hour I kept. So, I got the value of x as 6 km per hour. So, that is nothing but Ritu speed in uh, still water. So, that is what is the speed of Ritu in still water? 6 km per hour I got one of the variable value. After getting substitute x is equal to 6 in any one of this equation equation number 1 or equation number 2 so i have substituted x is equal to 6 in equation number 1 so then i got x plus y is equal to 10 substitute in place of x 6 y value i got it 4 km per hour so at the starting what i kept let the speed of stream be 5 km per hour so i got the value of y as 4 km means that is nothing but speed of stream is equal to 4 km per hour. They told for us to find out the Ritu speed in still water and what is the current speed that is the speed of stream also we have to find out. Both I got it children. So what we have to find out in this uh, statement problem that we take it any two variables then we will we'll find out. I kept it in this uh, sum x and y I have taken what we have to find out then I got the value of x and y. Uh, this is a way of finding the solution for statement problems. Children, copy down. Children, second question. Statement problem, second question. Second question is, two women and five men can together finish an embroidery work. Five men, two women. Two women and five men, both together they can finish an embroidery work in four days. While three women and six men can finish it in three days. Find the time taken by one woman alone to finish the work. And also that taken by one man alone. So what I do find out here, find the time taken by one woman alone. So, time taken by one woman alone B, X will, I will keep it. And by time taken by one man alone B, Y, I will take it and I will find out the value. Then, uh, we have to convert the given statement in the form of linear equations into variables. Then, we have to find out the solution. So, once again, I am going to read the statement. Two women and five men, both together they can finish an embroidery work. Work is only one only. But they complete in 4 days together. 2 plus 5. 2 women and 5 men they can complete one embroidery work in 4 days. While 3 women and 6 men can finish it in 3 days. The number of women 1 increased and 1 men also it is increased. So they can finish it in 3 days. Number of days it is decreased because when the number of uh, uh, persons it is increased. 
find the time taken by one woman alone to finish the work and also that taken by one man alone so let us see children because uh, now i have written question i am going to continue children write it this question children let the number of days taken by one man be x we have to find out this so we will keep it that x the number of days taken by one man b x and the number of days taken by one woman b y we will consider and see one man x days work done by one man in one day per day so per day means uh, totally has taken x days out of x days one day he works so the work done by one man in one day it becomes 1 by x he has taken total x days we have kept it we don't know so we have to find out that value so let the days uh, taken by one man be x we have taken out of x days one day work he, he completed means uh, i can write it as 1 by x out of x days one work he one day's work he completed in one day i can write it in this form so but totally five men are there so by five men in one day how much they can complete one man 1 by x, 5 men, 5 by x. So, out of total days, so 5 men they work means, 5 men means it becomes 5 into 5 you do it. 1 man he can do it this much work means, 5 men means 5 into 1 by x, 5 by x it becomes. In the same way, work done by 1 woman in 1 day be 1 by y. So, out total she has taken y days to complete the work. So, out of 5 y days, she completed 1 day's work in 1 day. And how many women are there? There are two women are there. So one woman she can complete this much work in one day means two women two into one by y it becomes two by y. So she completed that is two women they have completed in one day two by y work. Out of y days work they, they have completed two days work like that way it becomes. See now write down this much. children in four days that is per day five men they will complete uh, out of this many days and they will complete five days work total out of days the women they will complete this much in one day, out of four days they will complete one day work within one day how much uh, men completed the work and uh, within one day how much work uh, the women completed so how many days out of four days one day work they completed so if i multiply this is fraction form i don't want in the form of fraction so i multiply by four so if i multiply by four four fives are 20 by x plus four twos are eight by y so it is a fraction in multiplication only numerator numerator you have to multiply and denominator no number is denominator 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 one one into x is x one into y is y so this is if I multiply 4, 4 it will cancel, 1 it remains here. So then if I consider, here see this is in the form of fraction. Already this type of uh, fractions uh, you add, you reduce to a simple form of linear equations into variables and you solve. So I will take let p is equal to 1 by x. Let 1 by x is equal to p and 1 by y is equal to q I will consider here. Then it becomes 20p plus 88q is equal to 1. And in the same way, 6 men they have completed within one day. Out of this many days, they have completed one day work this much. And 3 women they completed this much work in one day. Out of 3 days, total to complete, they have taken 3 days. So, so out of 3 days, they have completed one day work. We converted in the form of one day and we have added. So some of these two, so this much they together, they completed this much work within one day. Then I don't want in the form of fraction here. So I multiply 3 is there in the denominator. All the three terms I am going to multiply by 3. If I multiply 3, 6 is 18 by x plus 3, 3 is 9 by y. 3, 3, 3 8 cancel 1 it remains. So I have taken here also let 1 by x be p, 1 by y be q. So 18 p plus 9 q is equal to 1 it becomes. So now these two equations are in the form of standard form of linear equations into variables. 
So I will add now. See both combining the equation 1 and 2. So I have taken together now. So by 1 and 2, 20p plus 8q is equal to 1 and 18p plus 9q is equal to 1. Together it has become like this way. But I have to eliminate. I want the same term and the opposite sign. So to make it that same. So here at least these big numbers. So I have taken small number. I have to change small number. And I multiplied this equation by 9 and this equation by 8. To make it this variable same term and opposite sign I will do and I will eliminate that q variable. So by elimination method I am multiplied this equation by 9 now. 920 is a 180p. 9 8 is a 72 q is equal to 9 1 is a 9. 8 18 is a 144p plus into plus 8 7 is a 9. Uh, 8 9 is a 72 q. 8 1 is a 8. So now see I have made it this term same. But I want opposite sign to eliminate this variable. So I will subtract now instead of adding I will subtract. So I can change the sign then. If I am subtracting from this equation to this equation. I can change the sign. So if I will change the sign. This term it will eliminate. And in 180 if you will subtract 144p. You have to see this, this changed sign. And you have to do the simplification. 180 minus 144 is 36p is equal to 9 minus 8 is 1. So you got it 36p is equal to 1. And p value I got it 1 by 36. So after getting the value of p 1 by 36, substitute this equation, uh, this value 1 by 36 in equation 2. So in equation 2, the, that is equation 2 is 18p plus 9q is equal to 1. So you substitute in place of p 1 by 36. So then after simplification 8 ones are 18 ones are 18, 18 twos are 36. 1 by 2 it remains plus 9q is equal to 1. So then 9q is equal to 1 minus half it becomes. If you will bring this half this side, it becomes minus half. Then if after simplification you subtract, so then it becomes 9q is equal to half. So you don't 9 here means divide both the side by 9. You will get it q is equal to by 1 by 18. So you got the value of q as 1 by 18 and the p as 1 by 36. So but we have taken originally let p be 1 by x and the q be 1 by y. So I can uh, interchange, I can uh, substitute and I can interchange and I can find out the value of x and y. So q means I, I have taken 1 by y is equal to 1 by 18. P means that is P is equal to Y is equal to 18 I get. Y is equal to 18. Y is equal to 18 I got it. And in the same way P is equal to. If I will substitute and I will P is equal to 1 by 36. P means what I have taken 1 by X. So 1 by X is equal to 1 by 36. So if I cross multiply then I am going to get X is equal to 36. See children what they told for us to find out. We got it that we have kept that let it be that be x and y and we got the answer. Actually they asked for us find out find the time taken by one woman alone to finish the work and also the taken by one man alone. So we got that value as x value as 36 and the y value as 18 children. So please write down.